Welcome back to Fun Time Lanes in Holyoke, Massachusetts, where we are at the finals of the Western New England Candle Pin Association Pro Tour event. And we're going to see Brian Mayer, who is fresh off a win over Steve Vadney in the semifinals. He's going to be against top seed Dave Dupuy, who threw 684 in qualifying. Dave reeled off strings of 132, 119, 129, 143, and 161 on the end for a 684 total and the top seat going into this final match against Brian Mayer. And as soon as Dave is done warming up, we'll get underway here at fun time. Dave, as I mentioned in one of the earlier matches, was the Bowler of the Year here on the Western New England Tour for the 2010-2011 season. And obviously he's kept his game in pretty good shape over the summer because he's uh, served notice that he's, he's the man to beat at this point with that 684. And Brian Mayer is that, it, it goes. That's a little bit of a delayed spare for uh, Brian Mayer, but he matches the spare by Dave Dupuy. And let's take a, another look at how that went. Head pin goes to the side wall, then it goes off the other side wall, and then it finally rolls all the way back over. And I'm not sure if the head pin actually took out the 10 or if there was another piece of wood over there. I, I think it may have been the head pin itself. Anyway, it's matching spares in the first frame. Dave Dupuy with a nice ball in the 1-2 pocket for 8, but he's got a 6-7 split. One piece of wood. And Brian Mayer with a, a good ball in the pocket, but he doesn't have much to look at either with a 7-9-10 <clears throat> and a um, piece of wood at an angle in front of the 7 that he might be able to use. But it's one of those things where either he gets something to come off the wall or maybe the ball comes out of the pit. The pits tend to be and sidewalls are very lively here at Fun Time Lanes. And you get a lot of balls coming back out of the pit. And that, I think it's probably what Brian was trying to do with that shot, but it didn't, he didn't uh, get anything other than the seven. So it's a 10 box for Dave Dupuy and a nine for Brian Mayer. After two, Dave leads 28 to 26. Dave is out of the central Massachusetts area. And he does his league bowling at Mohegan Bowl in Webster. And Dave throws another good ball, but again, he doesn't have the best leave here. He's got the five, seven, eight, with a piece of wood at an angle behind the five that might help him make it. Wow, and a great bid by Dave. But uh, he, he takes the five, seven, but not the eight. And meanwhile, Brian Mayer had the 2-4-5 triangle and hit the 2 a little bit too full and, and chopped it off the 4. So it'll be a 10 for Dave and also a 10 for Brian. Dave, as you can see on the back of his shirt, is a, uh, he also bowls out of Metro Bowl in Peabody with the, uh, in the Friday Night Traveling Pro League. And Dave, like Brian, and there's a spare by Brian, matching the spare by Dave. And let's uh, take another look at at the way that Brian converts this spare. He's got the one, three, six, nine, ten, and just converts it perfectly. I started to say that both Dave and Brian are regulars in the World Team Invitational Tournament. That'll be, this year's edition will be taking place next month in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Dave Dupuy with a nice ball in the pocket, nine, and Brian Mayer with a strike. 
take a look at the replay. Solid 1-3 pocket hit, and Brian trips the 4-pin off the wall. Great shot right there. Dave Dupuy with the 8-pin and a piece of wood in front of it. Should be no problem. He's got it. And that's a spare. So through 5 as they switch lanes, Dave has got 67 with a ball to throw. And... Um, Brian Mayer with 66 with a with a strike up. Wow! And Brian throws a nice ball in the one-two pocket, but he takes out the one, two, three, and four, leaving no wood. And meanwhile, Dave Dupuy with a half Worcester on the right side. Let's see what Brian can do with this. And wow, he got everything but the seven pin. And if that six pin had fallen the right way, it might have rolled back and taken the uh, seven. It just didn't, didn't quite do it. That would have been an incredible spare. In any case, it's a 10 box for Brian Mayer, and he's got 85 through six. Dave Dupuy with a seven. He has got 76. So it's a nine pin lead for Brian Mayer as we come into the seventh frame. Brian delivers on lane six. And it is another strike by Brian Mayer. A little bit slower than the last one, but take a look at how this goes. Uh, kind of a mixer, a lot of uh, sidewall action, and that eight pin falls and just gets a piece of the seven pin and knocks it down. So that's a strike in the seventh. Dave Dupuy on the right side, missing the head pin, but he leaves a one, two, four, eight, which is a pretty makeable spare, and he's uh, would be rather important for him to make this at this point. And he doesn't quite do it; he goes by the head pin, so it's going to be an open box in the seventh, and that's going to give Brian Mayer a chance to extend his lead by filling in that strike. So Brian is leading by nine pins plus whatever he gets on his next two balls. So that gives him a chance to really stretch it out a little bit. And he's got seven, leaving a one, two, four. Really gives him a, uh, he's really got the upper hand at this point. Now let's see if he can make this one, two, four. And he does. A little bit full on the head pin by Brian Mayer, but he gets the two pin to come off the wall and take down the four. So that's, I hear Dave Dupuy almost, almost mandatory that he make that one, two, seven, and he gives it a good try, but just kicks the head pin around the two pin and it takes the seven down. So it'll be a 10 box, giving him 96 through eight. And Brian Mayer with one 15 plus. So he's got a 19 pin lead plus this ball. And Brian with seven, eight, nine, is it gonna be 10? No, it's gonna be nine, but that gives him a 124 through eight to 96 for Dave. So it's, it's a pretty commanding lead for Brian at this point. And he misses the three pin, however. So he might be able to get away with it at this point because Dave is going to need a spare and a double strike at the very least. Uh, 10 box by Brian Mayer, 134 through 9. Dave with a spare in the uh, ninth. He's got 106 with a ball working. So it's it'll, the lead is 28 pins minus whatever Dave gets. And Dave is essentially going to have to get a, have to throw a double. And it's a nice ball by Dave, but it's, uh, he doesn't get 10, he gets just 8, and that cuts it to a 20 pin lead, but that's not going to be enough, and Brian Mayer is going to pick up a win in this first event of the year on the Western New England Candlepin Association Pro Tour.
Dave Dupuy converts the spare. And Brian will finish with a 10 box for a 144 game. And that's a pretty outstanding finish. Dave will, uh, will fill out the spare. And certainly a, a good day for Dave with 684 in qualifying. And then a, you can't fault a 131 game there. But Brian Mayer wins the final 144 to 131. And he is the champion of this Western New England Candlepin Association event at Funtime Lanes.